and see what happens and as you can see we have successfully created a kind of smooth um, cursor follow effect on Figma hello everyone this is Payan welcome to Undesign channel in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a pure Figma cursor follow animation so without further ado let's just jump right into it the first thing first you're gonna need a landing page that you want to apply that effect and uh, this is a simple landing page that I made and um, I'm gonna just apply that effect uh, right into here that and you can use that here in your prototype so uh, the um, the shape that you create is gonna follow the cursor as you move around with um, your cursor on the prototype screen so the first thing first uh, we need to prepare some components to start with so the first thing is to create a shape so I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard then create a shape like a square and then I'm gonna set the width and height to something like 80 pixels alright then I'm gonna set the um, fill color to 0 which is gonna be black and then I'm gonna convert this to a component from here alright then let's rename it to cursor component and then what you can do is um, create some variants actually you need only one variant and that's gonna be on the state and let's duplicate it resize it just so we have actually I'm gonna convert this auto that that's optional you can skip this part but I'm gonna set some spacing so everything is nice and organized and then I'm going to rename this to hover state so what we have here going on as you can see um, we have two variants the first one is the default state and the other one is the hover state when we actually want to like hover and um, have that um, effect go, um, you know start so what I can do is basically um, select both of these rectangles and set some corner radius maybe like I want to make this a square, like actually a circle. And as you can see, um, we have them both styled. And the next thing is, I'm going to hide this state basically. So when I don't want the hover state to be activated, I want this um, circle to be hidden. So in order to do that, I can select the, this variant and hit 0 twice in order to hide it or you can like use keyboard here and hit you know type 0 from the layer section and alright for the active one what I want is basically a big um, circle that you know is smoothly animated when you move your cursor in order to do that I'm gonna um, select my rectangle and then uh, set the width and height to some like 350 something like that or that's a little bit too much 250 and I'm gonna align it to the center by hitting alt V to align it to the, you know align it to the center vertically and alt H to align it to the center horizontally something like that so this is here as you can see and one important thing is to add a blur effect so I'm gonna add an effect I'm going to set the um, effect type to layer blur from here then I'm going to set the blur to some like um, 12 yep and then in order to apply that effect to my landing page what you should do is have your landing page ready and have everything locked so you don't select anything by mistake as you can see then you're going to create a rectangle to cover the whole thing so I'm going to create a rectangle align it to the screen and set it as full width and height and the color actually is gonna be zero and set the actually I'm gonna uh, adjust this in a sec so let's just hide this one and then let's bring our component here so I'm gonna select this hidden component and then um, tap alt hold and bring it to my screen in order to duplicate it like so and align it to the left top left like that or you can select it and hit alt a alt w to align it to the left top left actually 
and then what you can do is duplicate it uh, next to it and then select both of them and hit shift a on your keyboard in order to create auto layout then set the gap to something like minus 30 you can play around with these numbers and then you know find out what look, looks the best for you so for me I, I'm gonna go with minus 30 like so and then I'm gonna select one of them and um, hit control D or command D just to duplicate it and cover the whole width with it as you can see alright that's okay and then I'm gonna select uh, the whole thing and duplicate it one more time drag and uh, you know drag and bring it here and then select both of them and hit shift A again to create another auto layout and set the actually set the gap to minus 30 as well we can use this new feature on Figma which is the wrap one but uh, the wrap doesn't have minus value for the vertical ga gap yet so we need uh, Figma to fix that or I don't know if that's gonna be a feature anyhow so in order to cover the whole screen again we need to um, select one of the rows and just duplicate it a couple of times like that and select the whole thing and align it to the center one more time and voila now we have our hover animation ready the only thing left to do is to find that rectangle that I created earlier which was this one and then set the set the um, layer option to color burn and then let's group them up and set the layer to difference actually sorry let, let's set the rectangle because this is dark mode I want it to be reversed so I'm gonna set the fill to, for the rectangle to white and if I hit play button here and if I hover over my mouse on the screen you can see that we have the oh we, we missed a huge part which was animating it so I'm gonna go to the prototype sorry and then I'm gonna connect it to this variant set the trigger to while hovering and set the state to um, actually set the top of the animation to smart animate yeah, is in 300 milliseconds that's okay and let's go back to our prototype and let's hover over and see what happens and as you can see we have successfully created a kind of smooth um, cursor follow effect on Figma and as you saw we use no plugins and actually you can play around with this to make it sm even smoother you can play with around with, with size but keep in mind that the performance might um, you know you might sacrifice the performance and the whole prototype might get laggy if you add too much items like this one of the things we can do is basically increase the size of this one to maybe like 500 and set it as center and then if I go here you can see that the the cursor gets even bigger and this is to the beauty of adding the the whole effect as difference so basically it inverts the colors you can you know uh, ma use masks and do other stuff just to change the theme but you know j this is just one of the options one of the examples on how you can like create a cursor follow animation you can get creative with it and do your own stuff but yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I created with it here and yeah that is uh, today's video uh, thank you for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos also hit the bell icon and i'll catch you on the next one cheers